Hello. <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Come Town. Uh, uh, WCUM, Come Town Radio. WCUM, <laughs> the home of. I don't know. We were just talking about. WCUM. I don't know what that voice <laughs> was. It's like it's like uh, Hell yeah, dude. like how Cosby impressions sort of evolved over the years. To, oh, yeah. So then when you get to like the Family Guy Cosby impression, it's so far removed from actual Cosby. Right. right. It's an impression. Of an impression. Yeah. 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 Well, the kids they go they listen to the jazz music and it goes zoop zop zoop bop boop. I used to. There was a man that sold Kodak film. That was like a. A family guy been. But well, we were guy. just talking about how Brandon didn't really talk much on the podcast <laughs> last time. Yeah, fuck Brandon. Which is good, because fuck him, but you can check him out on Chapo Trap House. Uh, <laughs> he was their guest this week. Yeah, political uh, uh, an analysis from from Brandon. One of the most woke yeah. intellectuals, but public intellectuals, like a Norman Mailer type. Mm-hmm. No more like Except Norman woke or Gaylor. 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 Yeah. Thank you. Call. No. Yeah. Hormone Gaylor. Hormone Gaylor. <laughs> Hormone Gaylor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Uh, yeah, if you guys follow Norman Wilkerson on Twitter, please call him Hormone Wilkerson from now on. <laughs> Glad we and tell him that. taxes are too low. Yeah. So we got to cover this. Uh, I already told Adam I'm doing this. But, oh, I don't uh, know about this. This uh, is news to me. I didn't consent. You don't have to fucking consent. Let me it. know. So basically. Uh, uh, Is it about rape again? No. So uh, we're all we're all aware of the character, uh, or not character, the guy who's come on the show who died tragically, <laughs> slipping on a banana peel. Who, okay. Who uh, we stopped mentioning and like you know, out of reverence for the dead. Yeah. Right. Because he passed away. So there's this other guy, uh, <laughs> Seth Cockfield, who was offended by the character, uh. and that's why uh, you know I mean it's not why, but it was sort of a coincidence that's. Seth had a meltdown about it, and then uh, Seth uh-huh. Cockfield died, and we stopped um, allowing Seth Dickfield to bully Seth Cockfield <laughs> via the magic of theater. Right, right, right. Uh, oh, so- I didn't get it. Seth. Oh, so it's Dickfield was bullying Cockfield. Yeah, it wasn't me. I see. Okay. <laughs> it was the guy. It was the human, the real human being, Seth now, Dickfield. You know, my favorite dead. movie of all time is Who Framed Roger Rabbit. And mm-hmm. yeah. Roger Rabbit. Is chained to Eddie Valiant. They're handcuffed together for about mm-hmm. an hour. Yeah, and then they're in that back room in the bar, and uh, Eddie think- finally Eddie finds a hacksaw and he starts hacking through the handcuffs. And while he's doing that, Roger Rabbit just slips out of the handcuffs and he like starts watching him. Oh and yeah. And Eddie says, "You mean to tell me you could have taken those off at any time?" And he goes, "No, only when it was funny." <laughs> and I sort of live by that code <laughs> that oh, anything man. can be justified if it's funny. <laughs> so uh, I'm not responsible for hurting Seth's feelings. And he's a bad guy. But uh, <laughs> what do you mean? I thought you said you had nothing against him. I don't have anything against him. I mean, I'm just saying objectively, he's a bad guy. <laughs> God, uh, that's even better. Yeah, he's claiming it's objective. <laughs> <laughs> but there's like there's like a scientific like, unit of fact. measurement. Yeah. it's not that he's petty, and yeah. anyone who annoys him a little bit, he goes way too hard at them. Who me? Yeah. Who who else have I gone way too hard at? Anyone that annoys you on the internet. I, I feel like go, on the internet go. you like to just. No, there's people I like make fun of. I think Seth's like a great character, and he just doesn't realize that. Anyhow, he is. the point is, I wouldn't bring him up, but sure. uh, Seth rejoined Facebook to uh, complain about me. Oh, really? And clear the air. And uh, I think, you know, it's... No, hold on. <laughs> this is like... It's, Adam's shaking his head in protest. He but he posted this because he... And I, I agree with him. Yeah. You know, I like I have been mean to him. So I think it's like only fair. Okay, okay, okay. That I like let people whose only exposure to Seth uh, hear what Seth the has to say in, in his own, character in his own defense. Okay. Um, and yeah. So Seth posted this. Yeah. Don't do. You're you're definitely not going to do the voice. What do you mean? Well, I, it's in Seth's words. Why would I not? <laughs> Okay. Do the voice. Okay. <laughs> Seth wrote, uh, Hi, I'm not back. I just wanted to share this and then bounce back into the ether sometime before Monday. 
This tweet is an old tweet of mine, which I tweeted in a rage one day in the spring of 2015, <laughs> right around noon, most probably after reading about yet another atrocity portrayed by some white cop or politician or rapist. <laughs> Adam, you look this, please. I've, I've, if it's really going to bother you that much, I, I'll tell you, there's seven more paragraphs. <laughs> Just continue. And we're only halfway through the first We already one. started. There's no, yeah, there's no going back. Uh, well, there's, yeah, if you don't want to be a part of this, I guess. If you're such good friends with Seth, <laughs> Not that you don't want, Seth. you don't want uh, me to just uh, let so Seth speak for himself here. This right. is a recording you're playing, right? Of yeah, Seth yeah, reading yeah. his I, post. Yeah, play the recording. He went live on Facebook Live. Uh, Finish the video. I don't know. Well, if 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 you're gonna have a problem, continue. No, it's it's, you already said. Yeah, I guess. I guess I'm just a big bully. <laughs> I guess everybody just thinks I'm just a fucking asshole because I'm trying to let Seth defend himself to the, to the come town. You know what? Fans. You're right. Let let Seth finish. You're right. You're right. We're being the bullies. We're trying to stifle Seth's voice. Let him. Let's hear what he had to say. Anyhow, he says this is a this is a tweet he tweeted in a rage after an atrocity uh, portrayed by. A white by cop. By white cop or politician or rapist. Right. Um, the tweet got no likes or retweets at the time, <laughs> which was fine. I didn't expect it to. <laughs> I just wanted to get it off my chest. If that makes you feel uncomfortable, I get that, and I'm happy to discuss it. And then he's included the tweet, which uh, was What's the terrible. Tweet? Well, the tweet is, here's Seth, and he says, White people will one day go extinct, and I cannot wait. New power structure, please. <laughs> He wants himself to go yeah, yeah. extinct. Well, anyhow. So, that's the tweet he included. And then he what said, do you mean you can't wait? You are white. <laughs> well, hold on. He explains it further. Okay, okay. Um, okay. I'm, then sorry, he I'm says, sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, he says, Earlier this summer, a certain comedian popular on Twitter, whom I will refer to as X, X. which uh, is that's me. That's cool. Nicholas X. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's cool. I love that's, that's awesome. a cool nickname. Yeah. Thank you, Seth. Um, <laughs> Just that's why you don't understand short nicknames. Of Vin Diesel. X is a tight nickname yeah, for it. It's X. nowhere near as good as Seth Dickfield, though. No, Dickfield's great. If he if he was like earlier this summer, a certain comedian popular on Twitter who I'm referred to as Nick Dickface, <laughs> I would have laughed. That would have really been good. Yeah. That would have been funny. But he that was a, that was a blown opportunity. He yeah. gave you instead a really cool punk rock name. Yeah, Dick Cuntlin. as X. Well, punk rock names are all like. Uh, like uh, your first name is literally one David letter. Murder, like Jonathan Trash, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah like yeah, garbage, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike, yeah, Johnny Rotten, Mike <laughs> Snot, fucking pussy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in a hardcore Infected band. Asshole. I'm Johnny Snot ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Johnny. I'm Johnny Pus Taint. Yeah. Um. So okay. So earlier this Your summer, the first name is literally one letter away from Dick. Yeah, you yeah. Know? Right. <laughs> like, you can have call me Dick Mall. That would have been funny. Dick Mall. Yeah. Been, well, it would have been funnier if he called me like Nick Dickface or Nick <laughs> Dick Fag. You know, like yeah, yeah, he yeah. just, he just like you know, didn't put any effort into of it. Like well, I didn't with the cockfield. Nick Mall Dick would have been. Yeah, great. yeah, that would have been funny. But he went with X. So. Sorry, now I'm uh, now an X-Man. X. Now I'm a fucking mutant that <laughs> can read X. people's minds. <laughs> this is tight. Uh, the only white guy that looks good bald and handicapped. That's, true. That's a good combo. Uh, okay. Uh, earlier this summer, here. a certain comedian popular on Twitter, who I'm going to refer to as X, someone whom I'm not... I don't... Is that... That's not... Whom is possessive, right? No, it's it's, it's the objective. Yeah. Not the subject. Someone, in the sense. so but this isn't correct usage. Someone whom I'm not ap amicable with in the least. I don't think it's right. Someone who? Yeah. I don't know. Someone who? Yeah, because you are the subject of the sense. Yeah, I don't yeah, fucking yeah. know, dude. I'm dumb. Also, thought it'd be funny to create a character based on me for his podcast. This was completely unprovoked. The character is a weak, submissive, social justice warrior <laughs> type. <laughs> who overuses words like woke and is generally obsessed with political correctness. <laughs> The character's name is Seth Dickfield, which, uh, side note, again, Seth is a real, Seth Dickfield yeah. is a real person. It's pretty insensitive, <laughs> this guy who him. died. Yeah, we've all seen him. We've all looked at him. Actually, uh, yeah. I don't know. Have I been the real And for, honestly, so. Seth, for you to you say that Seth once. Dickfield isn't yeah. real, uh, considering he died at Auschwitz, in a way that kind of makes you a Holocaust denier. <laughs> 
<laughs> so Seth Cockfield, Holocaust denier. Jeez. All right. Uh, getting back to the uh, the, the note. Uh, seriously, he's not even trying to hide the fact. Um, he's not even trying to hide the fact that the character is based on me. It's fucking weird to say the least. I even talked to this dude in over a year. Uh, this is the best part of the whole thing. I'm listening. Last time I talked to him, he was at an open mic where he got upset with me because I wouldn't budge on my I don't like the N-word and don't think white people should ever say it stance. He got mad because he thought his logic was sound. To care. be fair, that is a hilarious... <laughs> Wait, that, well, is that didn't best. happen. Right, right, that right, didn't right. fucking happen. Best. I wouldn't argue with Seth about... That's so good. That yeah. is the best. That he's like, last time I Sorry, saw Sorry, I don't what like a, the yeah. N-word. Oh, he was stomping his feet and demanding to use the N-word in the open mic. Let me say it. Let me say it. Let me say it, Seth. I'm anti-rape no. and anti-N-word, and I'm never changing that. Dude, yeah. the idea of just... Wanting to say the, the fa- a person that would argue at length that they should say it but wouldn't say yeah, yeah. it to be that stupid, right? Yeah. Also, like, oh my that I'm God. arguing with Seth, and, and that, that, that did like, not Come happen. On, Seth, of course not. It did not. He <laughs> no, made it. It up. absolutely didn't happen. <laughs> the last argument I got in, <laughs> he, he was stopping you from saying the N word. <laughs> I bravely stopped. <laughs> oh my god. Oh boy. What a god. fucking so hero. Oh my god. What a hero. Because, well, X wanted to show <laughs> his followers rules. that his character was based on a real person, so he scoured my actual Twitter feed for anything that might resemble uh, his Seth Dickfield character, and he found one, the one I've uploaded here. He tweeted it, and his followers went apeshit. Um, I tweeted it without context. I just retweeted you saying a thing, which... You knew what you were doing. I right? knew what I was doing. Just, <laughs> yeah. You knew that it was that, very funny what I he knew said. it was fucking funny. I yeah. knew it was like people are yeah. going to laugh at him for being this much of a fucking idiot. But I didn't need to be like, you know, hey, bully this guy or hear this why this is dumb. It stays right. at face value. It's a it fucking really dumb thing to write. So the tweet immediately started making the rounds with the most depressing parts of Twitter. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I guess the least depressing part of Twitter is uh, tweeting at uh, Talib Kweli all day long. <laughs> If I, yeah. <laughs> Don't let them get you, Talib. <laughs> That's the least depressing part. Ve- Talib very, uh, very for women's rights. Yeah, yeah. he really wants women to have yeah. birth control. Um, uh, the worst people in the world <laughs> relish that X's character was based on someone so real and so liberal, <laughs> and so they made it their business to keep a stream of daily hatred popping up in my notifications. It has been shared more times than I can count. <laughs> It's like, well, that's the thing about Twitter, Seth. It tells you exactly how many yeah. times something's been shared. Seth can count to yeah. 13. <laughs> it's been shared more times than I'm capable of reading a number off a screen. <laughs> so, basically, I'm semi-famous in the Breitbart world for believing that white supremacy is real should be dismantled no. and meaning it. <laughs> Yeah, that's not what you said. It's Seth. not at all. You said white people should go extinct, <laughs> and then the response from the majority of the people who responded to that tweet was like, "Doesn't this guy know he's white?" Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah that's yeah. why it's yeah, funny. That's, that's the funniest thing. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's why it's all, funny. That's the, it's yeah, a absolutely. white person saying white people yeah, should yeah, go yeah. extinct. No, but he can't like understand the fact that like yeah, p- people agree with you. There's racism. Yeah, there's plenty of racism. You're a fucking laughing stock. Yeah, I don't want to die. <laughs> that's my biggest yeah. problem. I would go extinct <laughs> under that. This line's good. Because of my tweet, I must be a cuckold or gay or both. (laughs) You're a gay cuck. You brought the accent back. Someone's fucking your husband. (laughs) No matter what I am, they really want me to kill myself. Oh. Jesus. Here's the thing. is like they are telling him to kill himself, but it's in the context of him saying white people should go extinct. Yeah, speed it up. Yeah, people are like, can we start with you? Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. Uh, Although I'm sure horrific parts of the internet did get a hold of that. I don't know. It's did Gavin, like Gavin, Gavin McInnes, Gavin McInnes yeah. retweeted it. And one, that's of the, like, one of the worst. Yeah, so he spread yeah. it. So He's like, now it's the only tweet of mine being passed around exclusively by angry white supremacists. So, and like, I love that through all of this, he's sort of kind of angry that he didn't go viral under his own terms. Yeah. Like, what he really wanted to go viral for is like... People being a, lo- being a oh, woke wow, hero. this white guy that wants to die, a good what point. a fucking hero. <laughs> That's how he thought it would be. Um, you showed him. Exclusively by angry white supremacists. I refuse to refer to them as alt-right, as I see the entire right-wing world as one big happy exclusive family with some uncles and cousins and a little more vocal and honest than the others. 
And also, by the way, Seth is an admitted former white supremacist. I don't know if yeah, you, yeah, you know, I remember. Yeah, he, I read that post. Yeah, he had a post on Facebook like a year and a half ago that was like, Listen up, gang. I used to be a white supremacist. I read a bunch of racist literature. And my <laughs> what? Friend got, yeah, he was a Nazi. Seth was like an actual Nazi at one point. Shut, shut the fuck but up. The no, point of it was to say that like you can change. Yeah. You can get woke. You can change. Yeah, yeah. That That's was the like thing, the point of like, the post. Yeah, Seth, you know, a lot of us didn't have to go through that process. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? No, I mean, that's crazy, though. Yeah. Was that real or was he, like, doing it up? For I mean, the... I think no, that is real. <clears throat> I, you don't think it's real? I know, I think it's real. Because Seth was also, in, like, 2007, uh, like, a total libertarian. libertarian yeah. And, like, uh. fuck, fuck you. If you, don't, if you can't make what switched him is the idea that he should get health care for free. It was all about, initially, him getting shit for free. You know, about how he deserves things for free. And that's what brought him over into yeah. being a, <laughs> a progressive. Um, now, and then also he has to be cool. Like, he can't, like, yeah. not be interpreted as being cool. And Barack Obama was very cool to him. So he had to like Barack Young Obama. Young Barack Obama. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm all for Ian. The worst part about this is that I can't even tweet anymore. I didn't really tweet that much beforehand. But now, anytime I log in, it's 50 more notifications from the past week. Pure hatred. Not to mention, X is still to this day using the character and retweeting shit with my actual face on it. Which I wasn't. I haven't fucking mentioned, like, done anything with that Dickfield shit since he had that fucking meltdown. Because yeah. I felt bad. Right. Like, I have numerous times in the past ten years that I've known Seth, <laughs> like, feel, felt bad when he says something moronic and shitty. <laughs> like, specifically to elevate himself over people who hold the opinions that he had six months ago. Yeah, that's why it's yeah. so subject to ridicule. Yeah. Because and he's doing it as an elitist. Yeah, right, he's, he's a fucking elitist prick, and I'll, like, make fun of him for, you know, framing something in the context of, here's me being better than somebody. And suddenly, as soon as, like, he gets called out on that behavior, he's like, I'm a victim, everyone's hurting me, this guy is such an <laughs> asshole, it's completely unprovoked. And it's like, oh, was it provoked when you transcribed uh, two paragraphs of that guy's personal conversation in that coffee shop, you know, uh, <laughs> to show everyone how much you love the feminist. But he didn't know that guy's actual name. I mean, yeah. Yeah, we, sure. I, mean, I understand what I'm doing. We truly are bullying him. What, uh, yeah, I am bullying him. <laughs> yeah, there's this no way bullying. around that. It's absolutely bullying. Yes. But it's also like, you know, I'm not wrong. <laughs> that is the thing. If you are right, it doesn't matter what the fuck it is. Yeah. Like, especially, you do not give a shit whatsoever. And that's why we go back to the good words of Roger Rabbit. Only if it's funny. Only if it's funny. Yeah. Which it is funny. And then he, Roger he closes Rabbit out. broke Nick's brain. Yeah. He closes by saying, in other news, I'm back in school. I'm a college freshman. I love it. Other than that, all that Twitter shit, I can safely say, in general, life is good. So things are looking up for Seth. And I'm happy. I'm glad for him that he's in school. Because, I mean, honestly, <laughs> 15 years of stand-up comedy and you're still bombing at open this mics. Jesus Christ. Nick. See, what? this is the Mullen special right here. <laughs> you did have After to, just shitting on him for you something that you, like semi, the seasoning on. that you semi had a point, right? Still mean, but you had a good... Then you just took the gratuitous <laughs> kick him while he's down <laughs> fucking thing. Yeah, congrats <laughs> on college, you fucking... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's, anyway. he's making his life better. I'm, like, happy for him. Good man. <laughs> I'm happy for him. You can see the expression on Nick's face, everyone. <clears throat> He's actually sucking Adam's dick right now. It's mm -hmm. weird. He's been yeah. talking with Adam's dick in his mouth the whole well, time. Well, and that's the shitty part about all of it is Ooh. like Seth is such a fucking great character and he doesn't understand what makes him funny. You know? Like people like thought the dick field thing was funny because it's just Seth. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like it was a little heightened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, a, it's a version of Seth. It's, yeah. And if he could harness that, he could do great. You know? No, yeah. he can't. Yeah, he can't. He can't because he has no tr say in it. That's why it's funny. Yeah. So that's just who he is. You know? And did it, and do, it's, and, not like, it's not a bit, you know? The character is funny because it's a bit. Because you're explaining not, and it's it's not only funny because of Seth. It's funny mm -hmm. because there are, especially yeah. with the election right now, a ton of people That's popping true. up yeah, yeah. that oh. are like you know self-described self-described woke. You know, I yeah. am woke. 
Um, it's like I'm Mark sleeping. Ruffalo had some awful tweet. Where I saw it. Yo. What was it? Getting woke uh, to the like, trans I'm experience. I'm getting woke to the trans experience. <laughs> Yikes. More like Mark Dick Dickafilo. Dickafilo, you want to start Mark, uh, Mark Dickafilo? Yeah. So, uh, so Seth on that thread got into like an argument with some guy. Uh, here, uh, somebody. That's the thing I love about all this is people just immediately start sending me screen caps of like all Anything. this shit. Um, and so somebody commented... You've infiltrated his Facebook, dude. Yeah. So I don't ask people to send me this shit. Like, fucking immediately, people start texting me and yeah, sending yeah. it to me. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, this... Wow, Nick, it's just so accidental. What do you mean it's so accidental? How would I know? You block me on everything. <laughs> There's no reason... I have, like, four different people that'll, like, you know, text me when he's going off. Says back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he goes, uh... So it's this guy that commented on that, and he's like... What he's saying is that he's not really back on Facebook to bellyache yet again. Can you tell? I'm not trying to be a jerk here, Seth, but we only knew each other briefly in high school. Oh, and man. I don't really know you that well. I just have to say you seem to get a joy out of complaining whenever you're on <laughs> Facebook about anyone who doesn't lean 100% left in their thinking. You make me want to check out this Nick Mullen guy's spoof of you at this point. <laughs> Again, not trying to be mean, but you're kind of pushy with your opinions. After saying that, if you feel like unfriending me, then so be it. And so Seth screen capped that and then posted it as another status. And uh, Oh, guys, instead of just commenting back. Well, on the status, he writes, uh, TFW, you know, that face when, you not trying to be a jerk, but oh, you no. nailing it, though. So Ooh. it's like, hey. No. So now you're using uh, That's a meme, AAV. Dude. So now, now you're, you're going full Wardell. Yeah, He's yeah. memeing. You got to be black when you own the guy. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then that uh, Seth eventually did uh, block that guy. Jesus. And uh, then that guy messaged me, and he goes, uh, "You don't know me, but I went to high school with Seth Cockfield, and he just unfriended me because I called him out on some of his whiny, pushy leftist <laughs> bullshit. Where can I check out this character you created about him?" I would love a good laugh over this. This is incredible. <laughs> Seth is getting us <laughs> listeners. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I've never seen some. He's Dude, like, that's a hilarious. Getting yeah. owned by just a guy who barely knew you. And yeah. it's like, look, man, For like we don't year. really know each other. <laughs> I'm the closest to an objective observer here. Yeah, and I yeah. got to say, and he was even kind of like, well, let's talk about it. Yeah, yeah. And what's funny is Seth was even like, I'm happy to talk about <laughs> my, I'm happy to talk about my tweet with you, but yeah. not about your uh, fucking objections to how I'm behaving. I won't talk about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, No, Seth is just like Damn. constantly stepping on rakes and having them smash in his face. It was pretty fun. That was really good. Oh, yeah. yeah I mean, it's just, it's too fucking funny. It's too perfect. And I know, like, uh, you guys are probably uncomfortable with, you know, having to bring that up. But, like, look, that, this is it. I'm never going to fucking mention him again. Seth, like, I'm sure somebody will tell you about this. Like, it's done. I wouldn't have said anything if you hadn't posted nine paragraphs about it. <laughs> And, uh, um, yeah. it's like, I mean, Seth also has to know you, he knows you, he's known you for 10 years. He had to know that that's like definitely going to get your peak, your interest. I mean, the him, guy like, messaging him was so good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like yeah. even if no one was like keeping you, keeping tabs yeah. on this for you, just one of his like friends <laughs> blocking him, messaging you is hilarious. Yeah. I mean, it's gotta suck. Somebody fucking making fun of you and you can't control the, uh, you know, any of the narrative around it. I would be pissed off if somebody had, like... But, you know, I also, I think it would I think it would have been funny if somebody, like, did a fucking yeah. character based on me. And looking, nailed it so well. And Yeah, and they did it. I'd be like, alright, you know. I did a character based on you once. What was the name? Uh, Dick? Uh, Mal- I have a really good character. Mal- yeah, it's called. Yeah, dude, um, well, dude, no, no, dude, it's like, called, here's the thing. We shit on Ward L all the time. Ward L's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's our friend, and you but know what? Honestly, he's actually. Friend, I was though. friends with Seth. Me and him used to hang out. But he would, he, you'd hang out with him. He would constantly talk shit on people. And then as soon as he found out anyone was criticizing him in any way, shape, or form, he'd have a fucking meltdown, like a literal yeah. meltdown, storming I'm, out and shit. It was so, probably funny. Whatever, I don't care, guys. You really stepped on my really good character. Oh, what's your character? It's called Gay Christopher Walken. Do it. I'm gay. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Thank you. That's good. Yeah, that's that's good. Gay. I'll be you like, know, ah. the Sicilians are the best liars. <laughs> uh, two, two, two mice. Yeah. Two, two men. Can I offer fall you into a vat of cream? <laughs> two men, and they fuck each other. <laughs> and it gay. becomes. But I've had this pleasurable gold watch shoved up my ass. 
<laughs> until I come. <laughs> Your father forgot. Oh, now I'm just doing a Jewish guy. Yeah. Your whatever. father forgot it in my That ass. is a hard character. That's like the next level with impressions. Like if you can do an Turn impression, but then like, you know, so like, you know, everybody loves Robert De Niro, but one of me was deaf. <laughs> do deaf Robert De Niro. Hey, just me. fusing two hey. ham-fisted ass. <laughs> stereotypes. Just two yeah. ham-fisted stereotypes. Deaf Robert De Niro. <laughs> you, you talking to me? I really, I can't hear I you. Can't. So you're going to have to I explain don't. if you're talking to me or I not. I can't tell. I'm even more me. deaf Robert De Niro. Seriously, are you talking to me? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Siri, Siri. <laughs> yeah, or like, uh, ooh, ooh, it's me, Robin Williams, but I'm uh, still alive. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm dead. I don't know. Oh, I have so much hair on my knuckles. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck. Have you seen that dude's body hair, Robert Mar Robin Williams? Yeah, insane. That's why he killed himself. Yeah, it's true. Because he was uh, the nair bills were getting too high. Yeah, yeah. he was just wearing. A sweater just all year long. <laughs> um, so the West Indian Day Parade is today, which uh, shout out to any West Indian folks we got out there. Mm -hmm. Of course, our yeah, big West Indian listener. I'm a big fan. What's your favorite one? My favorite West Indies? Yeah. Uh, Barbados. Barbados, me too. Yeah. Because oh, Rihanna. Rihanna. Riri. Yeah. yeah. Guys, I don't know about you, but I would have sex with Rihanna. I thought about it the other day. I think I would. I think I'd have sex with Nick. Her. Yeah, I wouldn't. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I mean, because you guys already fucked her. That's gross. Yeah, I <laughs> fucked her first. Once you fuck fucked a woman, she's times. ruined forever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's one fuck. Each woman is good for one fuck. And <laughs> after <laughs> that, <laughs> she's a no good. You gotta kill them. They go in the trash compactor. That's absolutely That's where you right. put them. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, we should talk about this uh, this Jazz Age Festival guy, because we were complaining about that. What's going on? The so New York Times had some like article about this asshole that lives in Red Hook. That yeah, it's in the style section, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I believe. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, he, he runs this thing called the Jazz Age Festival on Governor's oh. Island, which is fine. You can like jazz or whatever, and maybe for your performance you dress right. up like a 20s guy. Yeah, yeah. But it has to extend to everything for him. Which, by the way, I feel like half the shit, like everything in like the that New York Times like real estate blog, mm -hmm. that's all trolling. Oh, yeah. There's, that's not serious. Because every one of those Who's is like... My name, uh, Kayla's like parents uh, only have a budget for her of $80 million a month for her, <laughs> her perfect apartment. So she's going to have to make some compromise. <laughs> you know. and unfortunately, the toilet wasn't made out of pure crystal. And sometimes she could hear taxis honking <laughs> in the Fifth Avenue Palace that her parents bought for her while she takes classes at NYU on pretending she has it hard. Oh, uh, fuck. I uh, have. To shop. Oh my God! I have I to shop. Me and him were laughing shop. about that one day. <laughs> I rich need Fifth, to rich shop. Fifth Avenue women that are like fucking exhausted from shopping all day. <laughs> yeah. I've had the They're worst like, day. Oh, I have been shopping all day. <laughs> oh yeah, and their names are. We already did that joke. We talked about it. Yeah, yeah. Madison, Madison Square, Square Garden, Garden and Chelsea Pierce. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And their yeah, Korean friend. Uh, That's right. Uh, Kim it? Park Slope. Kim yeah. Park Slope. <laughs> 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 oh fuck! What's he doing? So this jazz thing is just like. Oh, he's yeah. being insufferable. Uh, so and the article like, was about like this guy lives in 2016, but he's 1920s. So yeah, he's like yeah, he's, I'm 1920s. He's like, like basically, I love the uh, you know just everything about that era. It's like the you know 1920s. So he pulls his pants up too fucking high and doesn't right. wear socks and wears and has like, a thin, right, no like, Velcro, thin, yeah. like a thin mustache. shitty mustache yeah. or whatever. And he's like, yeah, I don't even own a TV. And then his girlfriend's like, yeah, we just watch movies on my laptop, which is like. <laughs> it's an even more new technology. <laughs> so nice <laughs> yeah. yeah. But they only watch movies from the 20s, I'm sure. Yes, which, that's got to be so fucking entertaining. I, you know, I tried watching... Like, I, I got a list of... Uh, I wanted to work through and watch every movie that's ever won Best Picture. Right. And then I'm, like, looking at... Basically, every movie be before 1945 uh, was like, you know, like, uh, some guy... It's in, a German that tap dances. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, yeah. We gotta put on makeup and like, stare dramatically at each other to stop <laughs> yeah. Hitler. You could never even fuck. Yeah, get that cat fuck out of here. Fuck out of here, you cat, piece of shit. Don't throw up either. Yeah. Um, I guess we should I probably... What? I feel like that's a... Not a worthwhile pursuit. What watching every, every best, best picture? A lot of them are not. Dude, some of them are movies so Movies weren't bad. good yeah. until yeah. like ten well, that's years what's, ago. You got to <laughs> find <laughs> even best pictures aren't. Good. Crash. Was, Crash was yeah. the worst thing I've ever it's, fucking it's seen in my shit. life. That's yeah. so. That made me so upset. Driving yeah. Miss Daisy. It's not like that good of a movie. 
Yeah, um, that shit sucks. Yeah, no, it's like just Gladiator's the only good one. It's my best my job. Actually, ended. I saw it recently. Piece of shit. No, I'm kidding. Of course, it didn't deserve best picture, but it was fun to watch. Gladiator wasn't bad. I remember it was my favorite movie at like 15. Oh, really? Yeah, that's you know exactly what my favorite movie was. I went I was with like, my dad when I was yeah. like 13. My favorite movie was uh, uh, Men of Honor. Hell yeah! Oh, dude. the the one with a uh, scuba diving, with scuba, 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 yeah. scuba, scuba, I, yeah. scuba. I remember watching uh, Boondock Saints when I was like 12 and being like. That was the best fucking thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I in my hate life. It. I always hated Boondock Saints. Yeah, no, I dude, I, it like, caught me beautifully. Well, I, I hated Boondock Saints because I, was, I, I loved Goodfellas, and then someone was like, if you love Goodfellas, you'll love Boondock Saints. And I watch it, I'm like, this is stupid as shit. Yeah. <laughs> dude, I fucking loved it. I was like, damn, they know every language. Have you ever seen Overnight? No. The documentary about the guy that made Boondock Saints? No. It's amazing. Really? He's this like egomaniac Boston fucking of like course. bartender. And he's like, yeah. I'm from Boston. You know, I made, I wrote a movie and I wrote it because it's fucking real. You know, Boston style. You know, and he's <laughs> That like, was when they like, they made a ton of those movies. Well, yeah, yeah. So his initial script was like, uh, the, like it was got passed around Hollywood and people liked it a mm. lot. And I think, uh, it was like, uh, Miramax had it. Like Harvey Weinstein had it mm -hmm. and he liked it personally. Mm -hmm. And then they tried to get like De Niro in on it. They tried to get all these big names, but the guy who wrote it was such a good, difficult piece of shit to oh, work really? with that he sabotaged like everything. Whoa! And like eventually got produced, and then he took some shitty deal where he just got like a payout and like didn't make anything off distribution. Oh, really? Oh, so, so he so ended up rich. making like no money off the fucking That's movie. Hilarious. Also, it was supposed to come out on nine eleven. Oh, and they it? like had to post. Pro. Yeah, I haven't seen Overnight in a while, so I forget all the details. But yeah, that guy. Oh, you're talking about Overnight? No, yeah, you're yeah, talking no. about Boondock Saints. Yeah, well, Overnight is, is a documentary about oh, okay. the guy. Dude, if he had just gotten a yeah, piece of poster revving you, my yeah, man yeah, yeah, fucking would have been rich as hell. Oh yeah, dorm room. I feel poster? like that just came with a dorm. He, he didn't, just had he didn't make choice. any of that dorm room poster yeah. money. It was either that or the Velvet Underground or like Bob Marley. Yeah, Bob Marley. I had a Rocky one. Yeah, Rocky. I had Rocky, dude. That was cool as hell. There was this dude in college that was like, okay, I can tell the story. He's not listening to the podcast. He like uh, was like presented like as this alpha male, like you know, like hey, fucking get my dick sucked, or like whatever. Yeah. He had like in his bedroom a six foot poster of uh, uh, Leonidas from the movie Three Hundred, just with just wearing underpants and a cape, yeah, and yeah, just yeah. rippling abs. Ripped. And like just huge pecs and like so Ger Gerard Butler, whatever. Of course, yeah, yeah. I remember, and yeah. it's just like in his bedroom, he had this massive like six, like to scale, ripped buff guy. Yeah, to scale. And then his my friend, his roommate, <laughs> one day went on his went on his laptop uh, to uh, <laughs> <laughs> to jack off to porn, I guess. Damn. And all of his searches are like. Guy, guy, uh, fucks guy, but they're not gay. <laughs> <laughs> like, two, two straight guys fucking each other. <laughs> guy fucks for the first time, but other guy. <laughs> and I think he's, I don't think he's out of the closet. I think he's really, just, yeah, he's still living Damn. like a bro. That's lifestyle. hilarious. Yeah. There's so many, somebody had a bit in Baltimore about like all the not gay shit on Craigslist where it's just like half of the people are like, yeah, I'm a straight guy just looking to, you know, watch football and suck off some dudes and it's just like this fucking huge, you're on the gay <laughs> hookup like alley of the internet. You're yeah, on the on like, Craigslist. let's, you're yeah, on I'm Craigslist. not gay though. I just, you know. And it, there's so many talk about being straight and yeah. just like, <laughs> You know, Rave, ravens and sucking each other off. That's probably yeah. part of it. You remember that like post that used to go around the internet about like that guy who wanted to have like a meetup where like he's like basically I just want to recreate the sleepovers I had when I was like twelve. <laughs> so he's like inviting other middle aged men over to his house where they would like play Super Nintendo and jack off with each other. <laughs> <laughs> and then if one person sucks off another person, it's like no big deal. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. <laughs> you know that guy's just hoping for it to become a big gay fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. He just oh, needs course, plausible yeah. deniability. Yeah. Like, <laughs> the amount you could lie to yourself, dude, about what you like to beat off to. Oh, for sure. Years. For years. Yeah, that's why you got to beat off to everything. Oh, yeah. Every type of porn. Mm -hmm. Well, just to, do, just to like see how women feel, I watch gay porn every night. Yeah. The just Arthur Chu it. classic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I had a weird uh, gay sex dream last night. Oh, really? Yeah. About who? Well, I was watching, you know those, like, fat motorcycle twins? No. 
uh, the I forget their name. They did. They were professional wrestlers. You know that Simpsons episode where they have some trial and like Lionel Hutz is like, I'm ca- calling in surprise witness after surprise witness, and then they have those two fat twins on a motorcycle. Oh yeah, was I like remember a, them from the Simpsons yeah, episode. Yeah. But I don't that remember was like the, some yeah. cultural reference. I got you. I forget. I always forget their name and their story. Yeah. One of them died, I think. But like, uh, they weren't wrestlers, or they were wrestlers. They were involved in wrestling at a certain point. Okay. I think they had the record for being the fattest twins. But anyhow. <laughs> It was uh, it was them uh, fucking each other, and I like witnessed that. Wait, this is last night. Yeah, you last night. Two uh, fat motorcycle twins fuck each other in the ass. Well, one of them or? had a strap on, and the the other one had a vagina. So, and I think this is okay. I got a story after you. Uh, well, I think it was because there was an article that was shared yeah, yeah, about FTMs. Yeah, that F- yeah. the FTM uh, like man breastfeeding. There was like a man. Oh, that's so that's breastfeeding. happened a couple times. And he has this giant hairy tit, and there's a baby drinking off of it, and it like, I mean, yeah, that's where my transphobia kicks in right there. I'm like, oh, I this see, is. Fucking I don't have any weird. transphobia. It's just like you know, and then I, I think it's incredible. It's a fucking. I like see a, that. I'm like, like all right, hairy, this is too much. <laughs> I see yeah. that, and I'm like, come on, it's man. Not too, you, it's not too much, but it's, my reaction to that is like. Now can we laugh at it? Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, right. Like, right, right. I think it's amazing. You get to a point where Shut it's up, like, Adam, just take it amazing. fucking... Like, I think it's beautiful. Shut the <laughs> fuck up, <laughs> fucking... I just want to know, get I'm like... Pussy off your stance of... Uh, am I supposed to give up my I'm seat to that on the train? I'm Do I need to get up out of my seat on the train to let that person sit down? Yeah. If they are like a construction worker. that's interesting. You know, I don't... Like, I don't understand how I'm supposed... So I guess it was seeing that picture and then that's what... Made me. Uh, How many times has a, an F two M asked you to get up from your seat? At every a train? time I sit on the train, <laughs> it's always these trannies that are like, "You gonna move, sir?" They, I'm also a man, take, but I have a pussy. Yeah, I actually, I don't think I've given up my seat on the train maybe once ever. I did I once, do it quite often. Sometimes I'm a when gentleman. it's a mother with like a bunch of kids, yeah. I feel bad. I always fantasize More about than old like people. I feel worse for like mothers with like three absolutely. kids. Absolutely. I have it's this horrible. fantasy in my head I'll do where like uh you know, like someone will ask me to get out of the seat and then uh where I'm just like uh you know, I'll like be like, Well, um, yeah, that's fine. Uh, but just to let you know, I'm like a veteran. I was like, in the, <laughs> and I lie to them that I'm a veteran, and then people find out somehow, and then everyone on the train beats the shit out of you me. You steal Valor. It's like have a, like a fantasy I have that'll that's play out in my head. <laughs> yeah. Trolling gone wrong. I just yeah. You just like want your life. You just want your life, your way of life to end. You just yeah. want to be freed of this prison <laughs> you've made guy, for yourself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> some guy, uh, some guy pretending to be a veteran on the train so he doesn't have to give up his seat to a pregnant woman, and then people find out and beat him to death that's how I like I think in my head that would be honestly uh, yeah. if I heard that's the way you died I would feel so happy for you yeah. dude. that's no, going that's out the, the way most, you would have won the yeah, mulling yeah, way yeah. dude yeah 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 I don't know why I create those scenarios in my head that's but, beautiful uh, dude yeah um, like no I think, you know you think about it you're on the platform and there'll be like so, you know like a disabled person and you're like what if I just push them on the tracks and you wouldn't do it but it's, but it's you think yeah. it's like Tourette's or whatever you think about I never think th- of it with a disabled person <laughs> yeah me neither I think or it's like if somebody, it's like I think it was like Wall Street guy like suit I think it's just killing myself yeah. I think about oh, it like, yeah, killing myself <laughs> yeah. and like sometimes I'll well, fantasize I about that. people pushing me on the tracks and it's like, now a nervous tick of mine that I say under my breath I say oh, I'm gonna when people are myself. fawning over like a baby yeah. I just think about like how funny it would be if like just wailed that baby Baby in the face. <laughs> How people would be like, "What the fuck is wrong with you?" And be like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I did. You could literally make a baby's head explode <laughs> if you hit it hard enough. Yeah, and it's like I don't even want to punch the baby. I just want everyone to be mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> this is the That's most the enlightening troll. fucking. This is the most is is the psychological profile of Nick <laughs> right these last three minutes. Yeah, <laughs> I just want everyone to be mad at me. <laughs> Listeners of Come Town. Because if they're mad, they're not paying it to. They care. <laughs> <laughs> Listeners of Come Town. This is a public service announcement. Irony can ruin a brain. Yeah, it can it break your brain. brain. Yeah, another part of that dream I had, like a weird, weird thing oh, last yeah, I night. I had a dream. Too. I was at some like, uh, like event. Like there was like a. It was, it was like a show or something, mm-hmm. but then like the Joker showed up and he was like ruining everything. <laughs> the Joker, yeah, the Joker Who was, was it? Which one? Which yeah, Heath? I, it was Nebula. So Jack okay. Switch, but he just felt like it was. Yeah, the yeah, it was the Joker, probably from the, the one from the cartoon. Yeah, yeah. Um, but then people were responding to the Joker, being like, "Ooh, you're like a scary clown that's so edgy or whatever," and he yeah. was like, 
shut up. Yeah. And he was like, the Joker was getting like defensive about it. <laughs> right, and, right, right. So then people were reacting to the Joker as if it was someone that thought they were the Joker. Uh, interesting. And then that was what was happening. In the that dream. was after the twins fucked each other with yeah, a strap yeah, yeah. on. Yeah. One time I had a very weird. Uh, I was fucking just like in my head a beautiful woman. Like this was this was years ago. This is when I was like sixteen or seventeen. And just like a beautiful, like hairless woman. I was fucking her in the ass. And then it like I just turned around and then at some point she just turned around and she had my friend Tommy's face. Oh, yeah, and, I've had head. That. yeah. and like Tommy is the ugliest friend I've ever had in my like Tommy is like Hilariously bad right, looking. Dude, you're in love with Tommy. You don't have he's to. He's got this. Yeah, he's. No, yeah. You he's got this weird skin Tommy. tag on his ear that you just. Did you want to suck with? on? And, and, and he's just know, got like cuddle with him and suck on his skin tag. And he's got like this weird like clown hair. <laughs> like his hair looks like a shitty clown wig, and it's not. It was just one of the weirdest. He just went to Greek Orthodox. Yeah. Uh, church and that's why you had to day. leave Greek Town. And that's yeah. After that wet dream, people found out about that. What's dream. Greek Church like? Break that shit down for Greek me. Greek Church, yeah, uh, that shit lasts a nice long amount of time. The it's costumes just, are is it wild. mostly hors d'oeuvres? Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's all it's all fucking grape leaves. They're like hummus for you to dip the crap <laughs> in the Eucharist. Yeah. Dude, yeah, the costumes they go off. The priests have right. all this gold. They look shit. I was an altar so boy. Cool. I was an altar boy. You were. And oh, you is just, that why you had that dream? Is there? Yeah, yeah. Is there? <laughs> it wasn't a dream. The priest was imagining. He was whispering it to <laughs> yeah. me. Are they celibate? No. Here's the thing. Greek priests, you. It's like if you want to go far, if you want to be like a bishop or some shit uh -huh. you can't fuck but if you just want to be like a community priest you have to fuck you have to get a wife so they fuck so uh. Greek priests fuck so guess what's not an issue in the Greek church is Wait, fucking what if you want to go on can you like stop fucking and be I like mean, a guy that's like you know I'm trying to get my life back together and not fuck once you get become, married you're done so you, uh, can't, you, you can't you can't become a bishop rice, rice what is it the bishop ranks. deacon cardinal I think deacon's much lower deacon's not even a priest Deacon, you're trying to become a priest. Then, then there's like fucking bishops, and then there's archbishops. Mm -hmm. That's co so complicated. I yeah. have all of the military ones memorized. Yeah, I don't fucking know. There's one guy. There's private. one guy named Bartholomew that yeah. came through. Lieutenant, private. Yeah, private, private first class, corporal, uh, uh -huh. sergeant, and then there's like first sergeant, like gunnery. master sergeant, gunnery sergeant. I think gunnery What's sergeants gunnery? with guns. No, nah, that's like that's a Marine Corps thing. Yeah, I think so. I just yeah. remember that from when I was when I went to fucking Dude, uh, I went to do a Marine tour and I learned shit about them that I wasn't expecting to. Did you? Dude, guys it was weird as shit to go on that tour and like meet people who enlisted literally right after nine eleven. Like that's what yeah. that's who that's who the like. And I was like, oh man. And they're just like, look, there's just these hardened fucking vets who've seen everything. They're mm. you can tell they're fucked up. Be and careful, then the dude. Young don't Marines, respect them. And then the young don't yeah, get sorry, close to respecting sorry, sorry, them on my close, show. Dude. Close. And then the younger ones are just like fucking kids who were too dumb to go to college. You know, like yeah. not like oh, sure. like like half or just, and they haven't seen shit. They're well, all poor, like poor kids, seventeen, too. eighteen. Oh yeah, poor kids for from sure. like middle of nowhere, middle of nowhere, just like learning fucking learning. Like my friend joined the Marines when we were like teenagers, and like he grew up in a military family. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. I feel kind of bad putting shit out there, but so like I knew him my whole life. And his mom was like a naval officer, and then uh, his mom's r roommate, quote unquote, <laughs> was also a naval officer. Uh, which, nice. uh, yeah, so he had. Oh, like, that was Don't Ask, Don't Tell time. Yeah, so yeah. he had like, Damn. like just di like dyke moms. Yeah, and uh, naval officer. Yeah, yeah, lesbians. yeah, yeah Those yeah. are. Real lesbians. Yeah. <laughs> That's as lesbian and as it gets. I, I, it is funny because I remember like bullying him about it when I was like six. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like being like, your mom's a dyke, you know? And I'm like, well, how did I know that? You know, yeah, I yeah, yeah. fucking. I the don't haircut. Know. You heard it enough. Yeah. Your dad said it. Yeah, it wasn't, <laughs> yeah. No, it wasn't first my dad. time. It was I heard honestly probably from just watching just Jerry Springer kids. and yeah, shit true, when I was true. like. The first time I heard le lesbian? So because your dad's a bad dad. You didn't hear. Indirectly bad dad. How's your bad dad? He let me watch television. Like you a good father. Springfield. Yeah, that's what being sick Jerry home from school for me was Jerry Springer. Yeah. You catch prices right, then Springer. My mom, I don't TV know how the fuck she did it. She just, I, I didn't watch anything cool for a very long time. Really? But my dad would let me watch whatever the fuck I wanted. 
Um, My parents used to take me to like Rated R way before I was old enough to. I saw Con Air when I was like six with my dad. <laughs> Did they make you grandma. beat off in the theater to nude scenes? I rem- well, remember there's a ca- there's a prison bitch. I'm just asking. I mean, I've, there's a prison bitch character know. in Con Air. Like the second the plane crashes, he's just like opening luggage, yeah, and, like, he's putting, putting on dresses cold, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. And my hilarious. dad just looks at me. I was like, I don't know, maybe like. Nine or ten, and he just looks at me. He goes, "It's a ve- that's a very sick man out of prison. <laughs> <laughs> He's a very sick man. <laughs> that, He's a not, very sick not man. Not the part about like the rapist or <laughs> no, no. He's no, the no, no, no. The worst guy was the guy that liked to wear dresses. I guess. Yeah. Not, well, not, it is, he, he is a not weird the guy. dude that had the. Hannibal Lecter face uh, yeah. thing on. <laughs> Who's the bad guy? Who's like the ultra bad guy? Buscemi. Yeah, John Malkovich. John Malkovich. Yeah. That's Cyrus right. the Virus. Cyrus the Virus. That's such a good movie. What a star studded cast. They destroy okay. Vegas in it. So yeah. dope. Uh, Con Air is actually like. I love and it. then there's other ones. Like John Lithgow's in it. In Lithgow. Con Air. Yeah. yeah. Isn't he? Isn't he like the FBI guy? Maybe. Yeah. I think he is. Yeah. It's Nick Cage. Danny Trejo, who Brandon just learned about. <laughs> uh, yeah, Buscemi. Uh, is Ving Rhames in it? Dude, it was so funny. Just to shit on Brandon real quick. He, we, were, we went to go get a sandwich. Yeah. And some guy was like, are you the dicks out for Harambe guy? And then he was like, uh, yeah, yeah. And then another guy outside of an event that Brandon was like hosting was like, are you the dicks out for Harambe guy? And then Brandon was like, oh, he tweeted, a million people have come up to me in New York <laughs> asking me about the dicks out for Harambe guy. And I was like, literally, it has been two people, you fucking idiot. A million. Yeah, he was like, people keep stopping me in New York. <laughs> and it's like, no, motherfucker. Even if it two was. Two people did. Even if it was a million people, what the fuck are you bragging yeah, about? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, a, jo- a joke I stole from a bunch of other people <laughs> that I said. I think he made that one up, but he was. Uh, Brandon's he, never made anything up in his life. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> copy paste word. <we're> done. <laughs> I had a friend in college. Yeah. Copy it's paste. It's Danny an Hurts. iPhone, iPhone or charger. His logo should just be Control C, Control V. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Control C, Control V. <laughs> on the on the World Star comment section. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had a um, nice time with Brandon. We went to. It was nice s- to see him. We had we went to some stupid shit, some VMA pre party thing. That was, oh yeah, dude! I ate a weed edible that was twenty five milligrams THC, and then we like stepped outside, and I was in Manhattan, like uh, as high as maybe I was in like se- like like ninth grade. You know that yeah, kind of yeah, high, yeah. and I was just like looking at the buildings, and I was like, "This is fucking Mordor, man. We're in Mordor, <laughs> man. I gotta get out of here." I hate. I did not like any of that MTV shit because it's like I went to like an MTV party with him after the thing and it was just like this is just an office party but everyone works at MTV oh yeah so it's just like just as boring as being in an office party where you don't know anyone but it's like everyone also thinks they're cool if you know what I mean the like, thing I went to had like an MC for, that was like he's like a MTV personality Brandon Solvay and he's just like uh, on stage. He's like, it was so embarrassing. It was like the one camp counselor that was trying to be the cool counselor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like making announcements. He's like, yo, I, I see y'all. It's like this, you know, this white, like pretty boy yeah. rapper dude. He's like, I see y'all taking pictures. I see y'all on that Snapchat. Make sure you use the VMA Taco Bell Live Moss geo filter anytime oh, you take a picture no. at night. And people are just like clapping and I'm like, oh yeah. God. This guy this guy's life, he, he probably wants to kill himself. No, nah, he loves it, dude. I worked at job. Jimmy John's for four hours one time. Yeah, yeah. And the manager I had to report to was like two years younger than me and uh just like a fucking loser or whatever. Yeah. And uh I like stopped going there because he interrupted me while I was rolling up a sandwich or whatever. And I've worked at a billion fucking sandwich, yeah. you know, short order grill jobs or whatever. So I'm rolling up a sandwich and I started rolling it in the, like the deli paper from the corner and then you fold like a burrito. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I get about halfway through and he like puts his hand on the sandwich as I'm rolling it yeah. and he's like, you did what I like to call a subway wrap and we actually do it different here. And I was like, <laughs> peace. See you later. Yeah. Whatever fucking, <laughs> you can work with you. You can micromanage how you Like, who's, what customer is going to fucking, like, open their bag and be like, oh, I can't wait to eat the 
What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Why is it rolled like this? I didn't go to Subway. I went to Jimmy John's where they had fun shit on the wall. <laughs> it's so funny how people think. I mean, that is an example. No yeah. one matters. But yeah. that guy couldn't matter less. Oh, yeah. So what he does he couldn't was, matter he less. He was my friend's roommate, and I went to, like, hang out at their house one time. And then I saw... After? Uh, After you, you left Jimmy Yeah, Jones? yeah, yeah. And I saw the him, manager? like... The manager? Yeah, the manager. And I saw him come out of the room and, like... But he, like, hit, like, I work hard, I play hard. Like, him off the clock, and he's got, like, this shitty, stupid silk shirt on and, like, shitty sunglasses. Yes. And he's, like, smoking a bowl, <laughs> thinking he's, like, so cool. <laughs> and it's like, you're the least cool dude in this fucking house. Yeah, dude. Fre Everyone hates you. Everyone hates Jimmy John's. Jimmy John's sucks. Don't they make their workers sign non compete clauses? Wait, they can't do sandwiches ever again. I swear to God, yeah, they that's they that was like a big thing. They pay like shit. Yeah, of course. The yeah. guy kills exotic animals, Jimmy John. Yeah. He's one of those guys. He's one of those uh, dudes that goes and kills Trump giraffes. Boys. I was yeah. trying to do a, a bit about firehouse subs for a while. Which is like it's I a guess, real regional thing. Yeah, I think yeah, they're only in the DC area. I think Virginia and DC I think yeah. it started in Virginia. Um, but like their commercial, that's why the I well, it's also not a particularly funny bit, but I love the ads for firehouse subs are like uh we're firefighters, and we got tired of eating subs we didn't like, so we started our own place. And it's like, yeah, that doesn't give you any credibility when it comes to making sandwiches. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Firefighters aren't known for their sandwiches. <laughs> yeah, you're just trying to cash in on the fact that you're generally sympathetic. Yeah, yeah. Which is yeah, so funny. Well, it's, it's like, like, why are you so busy? The bit was, why are you so busy making it? Is that why we lost both of the towers? <laughs> yeah. Because you were busy sandwiches? fucking around with meatballs? <laughs> Get in those towers! <laughs> Put the fucking sandwich knife down. That's um, a good bit. Yeah. I do love... And it was great when it would tank, and then I was like, oh, it's because it's a 9-11 joke. And then people were like, what the fuck is Firehouse Subs? Yeah, it's hilarious. You were just being mean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love... Firefighter is a great... Like, if you're a racist, yeah. just be a firefighter. Yeah. Instead of a cop. Or just be a racist and do whatever you want. No, I don't be. Like, that's what I mean. If you were a racist, though. What do you mean, though? Like, in terms of feeder occupations for racists, like yeah. blue you collar racists. You could be a racist computer programmer. But, but I mean, your if boss those... coming, like, ah, Jeremy, uh, no, great work, but why are all of your variable names uh, <laughs> just slurs? <laughs> I don't know anything about programming. I just. Context clues laughed at that joke. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, guys. No worries. Well, Adam uh, didn't. Adam's, Adam's not even holding bowl. the microphone to his face yeah. anymore. What do you mean? Well, I know, man. It's been 51 Sorry minutes. Sorry I didn't laugh it's, at the racist computer program. You're fucking better, dude. Dude, are you a sleepy boy? You've been very yeah. woke this podcast. I've got to be honest with you. Listen, and I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I'm, say something offensive right now. Yeah, say it. Right uh, now. Bitch. Say rape is good. Say something say all offensive. all that rape stuff you were saying. Tell the story. No, I'm not going to tell that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, don't tell it. Damn, in the context of what we were just talking about, that's hilarious. <laughs> um, you have to say something offensive, though, for real, right now. I don't, I don't like uh, identical twins. I don't trust them. Okay. That's right. That's, that's just more of a... Uh, I think fraternal twins are worse, because there's one of them that like clearly got fucked up, the fucked up genes. Really? Yeah, no, there's I always one that's got, cool. like, red hair and, like, can't dance or sing. <laughs> I feel like if I had an identical twin... <laughs> no, fraternal twins are just, like... They're not... Like, they're if just I had an identical twin, people. I would 69 from the age of 13 to 17. Pretty much every Donald day. Donald Trump's sons look like fraternal twins. They do, but they're different ages, right? Yeah. yeah. They, I mean, they're, Man, they're, they're, they're completely sons, separate births. One of his sons just has the softest fucking chin. On Earth, who Eric? Uh, I think so. Yeah, one yeah. of them. I the can't remember. One? One? No, no, the other one. I can't remember. If it's Eric Don or Junior? Brambo. No, oh, yeah, Don it's Brambo Junior. and and Eric and uh, Goose Step. Those are his son's <laughs> names. Uh, no, one of them looks exactly like Odo from Deep Space Nine. I don't remember what Odo looks like. He just doesn't have eyebrows, and he's like a he can like change shape. He's like uh, a shapeshifter. Yeah, yeah. But he would like didn't grow up with like a family or whatever. Uh -huh. So his natural, you know, it's funny. Uh, he just sleeps in a bucket on the show. <laughs> he just turns back into a puddle of cum, and like, <laughs> you know, like at the end of the day, he goes back in his room and just like splash. And just turns into yes, a bunch of cum. nine was the black Dick Captain. Sock and nine, yeah, Deep Space Nine, Black Captain, Cisco, Cisco, Ben yeah. Cisco, yeah. And then 
I I saw the other day Voyager, and yeah. that's the Hillary Clinton. That's type. Hillary Clinton. Oh, yeah. that woman is so hot. We've talked the about woman. This. Yeah, we've talked about she Star has Trek. big ass titties. Yeah, yeah. And I wanted what right? Janeway. Doesn't one of them have big ass titties? The rope, uh, uh, the Borg, Seven of Nine. Has yeah, she's so tits. hot. Fuck. Yeah, which is funny because they didn't have a sexy lady character from the get go on Voyager. They had like a female captain. And then I don't know the internal politics or what happened, but they added Seven of Nine in like season six or seven because they're like, all right, we got to have a character that's Someone just a hot be, woman yeah, for nerds beat to beat off to. Yeah, yeah. And that's when she got added to the show. Oh, nice. Because they were like, you know, let's not do the fucking. Like on, like Deanna Troy on, uh, right, right, right. Enterprise, like she's just, a, which is the dumbest fucking character. I love her. Her job was she was an empath, <laughs> so she could understand people's feelings. <laughs> because, and the, which is an alien, by the way. It's not even a fucking human <laughs> to explain it to the autistic fucking retards that watch Star Trek. <laughs> How empathy works. <laughs> and you'd be like, well, there's certain aliens that understand how other yeah. people are feeling. I feel like that's oh, that's interesting. I never we realized, could use but one the on Vulcans staff are just autistic. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. Everything's uh, very interesting. Everything's yeah, logic. Vulcans are just with them. autistic. Yeah, <laughs> this is not logical. Yeah, <laughs> not very logical. <laughs> yeah, no, women this, owe me sex. Those shows are great. This is an episode of. Uh, uh, Star Trek that we watched when I was taking French in middle school. Oh, Picard, French, obviously. Wow. Jean Luc. Yeah, French. that's Jean the only reason we watched it. It was a regular Jean Luc Picard? Nah, there's an episode um, where they meet this alien race and, like, the, so they have these. The like, original series? No, Next Generation. TNG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So the way the reason they can understand all the aliens, it's like mm-hmm. uh, they just have some like computer that translate, it, like can pick up, it understands right. like syntax, and, mm-hmm. like, yeah, and it immediately translates. So they meet this like race that it doesn't translate for, mm-hmm. and only mm-hmm. partially translates because the way they communicate is by like, uh, like telling somebody a story or like reminding them of a story, and then whatever happened in that story fits the situation. So this guy's trying to communicate with, uh, with wow, uh, that's really confusing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's like, you know, Shaka when the walls fell. This might be the name of the episode or whatever. Mm-hmm. And he's like, um, you know, Dalmok at Tanagra, and he just says shit like that. And like Picard the whole time is like, yes, but what does it mean? <laughs> and I was like laughing with people on Twitter a couple months ago. Where like instead of like the stories, the aliens are just being like, the pussy, the asshole, and the vagina. <laughs> and Picard being like, yes, but. What does it mean? <laughs> <laughs> the asshole. The woman the woman's asshole and pussy. What is that? Some kind of warning? <laughs> uh, fuck. The woman's asshole and vagina. Pussy. The pussy entrance. <laughs> what is he trying to say? <laughs> that wouldn't be hard to edit together. That would be so fun. stupid. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah, so uh, you just need a guy saying pussy asshole. Uh, what do we got to close on? What's happened recently? I haven't left my house. I bought a TV. Yeah, Nick's Nick's, Nick's been rich a now. shut in for I've been three a weeks. In. I've been working on that show, so I haven't really had time to go out. What did you miss? Uh, nothing, dude. Nothing really. Ro- oh, we have a show. Yes, September next 11th. Sunday. Did we, we have a show. It? Yeah, we're done. Kurt. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got Kurt. Hell yeah, dude. That's a yeah. great show. Oh yeah, uh, Kurt Metzger's going to be on the show. Dan Soder, Kurt, Kurt Metzger, Metzger, Anna Fabrega. You know, three alt, alt, super alt. Is that how you it? Fabrega? Yeah, and it's not like Fabrigia. Fabrigia. Fabroge. Fabroge. Fabrigiani. I think that's enough. They'll do. Hey. We can make, let them do a little bit more time. We'll let them do 12. Are we planning the show on the podcast right now? Uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, we'll do it later. on 9 11, September 11th, 11 uh, 9, if you're from Europe. Uh, we're having a show at back at Come on, everybody! Thank you so much for everyone that came Did out. They call, didn't call it eleven nine elsewhere. Do they call it eleven yeah. nine? No, they call it nine eleven. But we get to and name it because it's our thing. And, you know, like when there's a war somewhere else, we get to name it because we're America. I think they call it the eleventh of September. Yeah, that's what they call it in Greece. Yeah. Well, we gotta put a fucking stop to that. Yeah, it's it's, it's offensive. <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely offensive. It's offensive. <laughs> yeah. They don't get to decide what our shit's called. I, dude, I agree. Fuck them. Does Trump know about this? I don't think he does. We someone should let. We're him gonna know. stop. I do him. love. They're gonna call it nine eleven like normal people. <laughs> I love how the fuck he's trying to get black people to just vote for him. Yeah, it's yeah. So awesome. 
That's uh, right. I love it. Woody, well, hey, what do you got to lose? African everyone was like mad American. about that in the writers' room. They're like, "Can you believe he said that?" And it's like, one, yes, two, like for Trump, that's not a bad argument. I mean, you know, like <laughs> try it out. You know, see if you like it. Yeah, that's kind of reasonable. I yeah. mean, he's not gonna like be like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm racist," but maybe you could be racist too against yourself. You know, like what is, <laughs> what's he gonna say? Like, of course, you know, what do you have to lose? <laughs> Just. So funny, just going to black churches. Yeah. Like, just completely. And just, I always love when they get just an insane person to be like, I'm a conservative black guy. I love those guys oh, yeah, on Fox it's the best. News. Yeah, it's Well, he has good. that one pastor guy with the, whose throat hurts. He always has a sore throat. Yeah. <laughs> and um, he just shouts at that's we, should get, we should get a conservative funny. black guy for the podcast that we have on all the time. You want to? We could get the ghost of Patrice. Yeah. And then we get a conservative black guy that agrees with everything I say about Seth. <laughs> Check and really yeah, put yeah. Seth in a bind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, Ooh, gonna... I can't disagree with a he black was person. Demanding to use the N word, <laughs> I told him to stop. That's my favorite thing in the world. We what? were saying this yesterday. Demanding white people asking black people not to use the n-word so much oh my god <laughs> my it is the best thing in the world yeah and then it, oh, could you also just not use the water fountain either <laughs> <laughs> i'm so, it offends me <laughs> well they used to drown people like you so i'm a, a little bit worried about you using the water fountain and then also the bathroom just in case <laughs> oh fuck well, yeah, so come out to our 11th of September show. 11th of September at 9 p.m. Come on, everybody, on Franklin off the G train, Classen stop in Brooklyn. It was really great last time. It was, great when it was really good, guys. I'm not saying that just to brag. Like we And we really appreciate all the come boys that came through. Uh, and come people, really. No, come boy is not a gendered term. Yeah, yeah. Come boy, you could be a girl, come boy. Everyone can be a yeah. come boy. Um... So yeah, give us money, please. There. And yeah, give us some fucking give us. Well, some we got to set up. Uh, we're gonna start doing premium content. We're gonna do like an extra episode yes. or something. Yes. Yeah. And, then and if you want to do that shit, you gotta pay extra, bitch. Uh, we'll figure it out. So we're well, gonna start doing two episodes we're gonna get a week. Yeah, and then we'll put one episode behind the paywall. We're gonna go to Sunset Park right now and get uh, the most fire. Yeah. Chinese so if you're food. listening live, want barbecue. Come hang out. No, I don't want to get some barbecue. What are you? Pacino? I ate so yeah, much. Yeah, yeah that was good. Whoa. Whoa, where's the barbecue? Well, if I'm with death, <laughs> well, if I'm with death, I'll Pacino. <laughs> you can't. Wait, is it? Up? No, do Down Syndrome. You're out of order. No, <laughs> Down Syndrome, but you know, you're out of order. <laughs> this is also The bad. whole damn system is out of order. <laughs> now, this Ooh, is man. <laughs> Hoorah doesn't change. It yeah. Just, Hoorah. <laughs> Hoorah. Oh, uh, we were singing on the way over here, uh, down Easter Alexa by Springsteen mm -hmm. is uh, by no Billy Joel. Billy Joel uh, yeah, yeah, right? by Billy yeah. Joel. Uh, 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 Jewish Elvis. Well, I'm on the Down syndrome, Alexa. <laughs> <laughs> then my hands are up on her tits. Whatever you change it, but <laughs> then you put in the uh, the Atel, um and they say she's slow, but them titties ain't retarded. Yeah. <laughs> what a great joke. Yeah. Classic Man, I, changing all those, I had uh, everyone at the office, I, I, got, I got them with the, uh, well, I'm the kind of guy that fucks his yeah. mom and dad. That's, That's perfect. That's that was making the, the rounds. One. That might be the best one you've yeah. done. My favorite one is dad, dad, fuck my dad, I fuck my dad, I fuck my dad, 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 fuck my dad. <laughs> I fuck my dad, I fuck my dad, I fuck my dad, I fuck my dad, my dad, I fuck my dad. Yeah, no, that one's a good one. That's great. I think that's a good way to close, boys. Yeah. Oh, no, the other Down Easter Alexa one was, uh, 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 well, I'm busting inside the <laughs> vagina, <laughs> which doesn't really fit, but that was been stuck in my head for a week. So... <laughs> I was kind of hoping the cat would throw up her shit again because it was such a uh, great way to end the podcast. Yeah, I don't want to see that ever again yeah. in my life. I guess not. Um, when that cat threw up, I was like, I'm screaming, fam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 wait. Wait. <laughs> oh, 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 wait. wait. I'm That's uh, Brandon, uh, famous comedian Brandon Wardell. If whoa, whoa was Twitter deaf. personality. Yeah. All right. Uh, we got to go. Bye. Bye, guys.